Hello and welcome to Create Crochet with me Rebecca. In today's video we are going to learn the technique six post reverse cable as depicted on not so cute pattern braided fingerless mitts. The link to this should be on your screen now so let's get on and make. So to do your six post reverse cable you're going to go ahead and skip the first three posts after the first lot of stitches like so and I've put a stitch marker in each one of these posts these stitch markers aren't colour coordinated they're just what my hand picked up first so into the fourth stitch you will want to make a front post triple crochet so that's yarn over come through two come through two come through two so that's one in the fourth stitch you're going to also do a front post triple crochet and it will come as no surprise as in this last stitch number six you're also going to do a front post triple crochet so that is what your work should look like right now you should have some stitches some long stitches that go from left diagonally up to right and nothing in this gap here now to do the six post reverse cable you're halfway through at this stage but you need to come behind these stitches to catch these posts the best way I find of doing this is bringing your work down and in this hole here which is not in between your three posts which is the gap created by skipping these that is where you're going to put your first front post triple crochet it's not easy to say so bringing your work down you're going to find your first stitch marker and not hooking up your stitch marker you're going to do your first triple crochet my yarn just slipped off there so round that post there for your first one now we move on to the pink one so I'll just remove the green one so you can see what's happening that is what your work should look like at this point again yarn over twice bring your work down to reveal the pink post here which is the second one so in there and do your next front post triple crochet so I will we'll remove the pink one and then the purple one making sure that I go into this gap which is not in any of the front posts that we did to start off with you're going to do your last front post double crochet so folding everything down finding that stitch and doing your last front post triple crochet of your six post reverse cable so I'll go ahead and remove that stitch marker and then the pattern will tell you to carry on so I'm going to carry on and do some half double crochets just so you can see what that looks like all blended together So if you open your work, you should have three stitches going across this way and three stitches going the other way, like so. The next round will sort out this buckling, but if you have a look, you'll be able to see that you can see all six stitches. And that's how you do a six post reverse cable. So now I'm going to show you how to do it without your stitch markers. Hold fire! So you've got yourself to the point of you've done your three front post triple crochet after skipping. So that's one, two, three skipped, four, five and six, four, five and six have your triple crochet in. So now we need to do this front post triple crochet around these again you're going to pull your work down 
to reveal those skipped posts. And it's around this first one that you're going to do your first front post triple crochet around the back. Just make sure I have the right one. So you're going to do one in there. So that's one front post triple crochet around stitch number one. Moving to the next one, you're going to do your second front post triple crochet around the back, which is stitch number two. And then the last one is this one here, which is your number three stitch of the pattern. Or if you're not using the not so cute pattern, you're just going to go ahead and do that. So that is what your work looks like. And then as per the pattern that you're working from, you're going to come across and just finish up whatever stitches is depicted in your pattern. Now I've been crocheting for a while and I still use stitch markers to tell me where I need to go. So it gives you exactly the same technique as using your stitch markers. It's just you have to be able to see where to come down into your um, from the back. I've been Rebecca of Create Crochet. Thank you so much for watching and thank you to Not So Cute. Bye.